So a couple of people on different platforms and for different reasons have gotten me thinking uh, that there's more I need to say about discomfort. There's always, always more to say about discomfort. Um, but there are a couple of critical nuances. So one of them is uh, on an internal plane, which is learning to recognize within ourselves the difference between the discomfort that indicates that we're stretching, that we're in a growth curve, that we're taking it to that next place. And that can be uncomfortable and scary um, versus the discomfort that arises when we're really bullying ourselves into a place that isn't ours and maybe never will be and maybe just isn't yet. Maybe we're stretching too far. Maybe we're um, not allowing for our own natural inclinations and where we are in our growth curve, right? So I like to liken that to the difference between taking a hike that's strenuous for you, but within your physical capabilities, right? You might be sore the next day. You might have a few cussing in your head moments while you're getting up that, that mountain or that hill. Um, but it's doable. It's a stretch and it's doable. And it's building muscles and it's meaning that the next time the hike will be a little bit easier versus... Um, you know, taking on Kilimanjaro when you've hardly gotten off the couch. And that's going to lead to injury, right? That's a, <laughs> that's a whole different thing. Um, so making sure that we're in the stretch place and learning to discern within ourselves what the stretch place feels like versus the bullying place or the, you know, shoving ourselves up a mountain that just isn't ours yet. Um, and maybe never will be. And that's okay. And then the other piece is, is outwardly facing, which is when we are in a position to potentially provoke discomfort in each other, which, you know, you can't put two people together for any length of time without there being a chance of provoking discomfort in each other. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but the internal orientation matters a lot, right? So it's like the keeping it real phenomenon, right? There, <laughs> there's a like, I'm just keeping it real. And that's code for, I don't care if I hurt your feelings. Um, um, and you deal with it, which typically isn't productive for the person doing the speaking and sure isn't productive for the people hearing the speaking. And the other is like the, like, I'm really working hard to keep it real. Like I'm really working hard to share my internal landscape with you. And I have paused and noticed my discomfort and I've thought about what I want to say and how I want to say it. And I'm taking ownership for what is mine. And if one or both of us winds up uncomfortable, then I'd like to work together to move through that. Um, because sometimes life's uncomfortable, but it comes from a thoughtful place. So I hope that I hope those distinctions are useful. And thank you to the folks who have invited me to share more deeply and think more deeply.